Well, can I ask that you guys to talk to you a little bit about the products that I use? Um, a few of the products are things that I I plan on eliminating, but I'm not going to right now because I just bought it like before the whole natural journey thing, and and I bought like big quantities of it because I don't know they were cheaper. So um, I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that I got specifically for my natural journey. So I got aloe vera juice. Um, it's the inner fillet kind. I got this because um, because of Kimmy Tube's leave-in conditioner. I have castor oil. I also have this because of Kimmy Tube's leave-in. I have coconut oil. Um, I'm using this instead of the jojoba oil and for the leave-in. So it's not exactly following her regimen, or sorry, her recipe, but you know. When I do braids, when I put braids in my hair, I like to use gel. Um, I, um, if you see my last video, you know that I use, I was using glaze, but glaze has petroleum, jelly, or mineral oil in it, and I'm trying to eliminate as much mineral oil as possible out of my um, hair care regimen. So I found this. Um, it's gel. Um, I really like it, but I'm not going to buy it again because it costs like $8. And I found a great recipe for some flaxseed gel on YouTube, so I'm going to be trying that the next time I need gel. And I'll make a video of it. When I have braids, I like to keep my hair moisturized, so um, I sometimes use this. As you can see, it's almost done. This is my, <clears throat> this is my second bottle of... Um, Carol's Daughter leave-in. I love this, the Tui leave-in conditioner because it smells really good. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy this again. Um, I tend to buy it. It costs like $12 for one bottle. Um, this bottle went by really fast, which is why I don't know if I'm going to buy it again. But it has really good ingredients and it smells really good. So, yeah. I have the Giovanni Direct Leave-in Conditioner. The last time I did Kimmy Tube leave-in, this is the, the leave-in that I used um, because it was on sale at Whole Foods and I thought I'd give it a try. However, when I bought it, I was aware that it had protein in it, but I do think my hair is protein sensitive. I'm not sure, so I'm going to try it. Try her leave-in using um, Kinky Curly and if I get the same results, then, you know. I also have Kinky Curly Nut Day. I bought this also because of Kimmy Tube's leave-in. I did not use it the last time I used the leave-in conditioner. I used the Giovanni. But the next time I use it, when I pick these braids out, I will be using the Kinky Curly. Um, I have this. Uh, the Root Braid Sheen and Conditioner. I really like this stuff. It smells really good. However, it's really, really thick. Um, so it, it makes your hair really greasy. I mostly just use this um, as a part of a recipe that I have for my own conditioner, which is this. I only have a little bit left. <clears throat> I'll, I'll post the recipe or a video for the recipe for this stuff that I use. Okay, um, I also use the Shea Butter Cholesterol Plus from Lustrous Silk. I only use this once so far. Um, you guys seen it in my, well actually I've used it twice, but um, I have, it's in my conditioning, my Indian hair braids video. I mixed it in with some stuff. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this as often as I plan to because, like I said earlier, I do think my hair might be protein sensitive and in case that it is, or in case it is, I want to try to eliminate as much protein as possible out of my um, hair regimen. So. I might do this like every month or every two months, you know, condition with that. As far as my shampoo and conditioner, there are two of the products I was talking about as far as things that I have or that I've had before my natural journey and that I'm going to get rid of after I use all of it. Um, I use Panty Pro B Moisture, Renew Moisture Renewal Conditioner. This is a really big bottle. You can't tell on, on camera, or if you can't tell, you know, my bad, but it's 48 fluid ounces. I've used about half of the bottle. I'm like right here, and I really want to use it all before I go and buy more because I'm not going to want to throw it away. Um, 
I really like it. I mean, there's not anything bad. There are a few things that are wrong with it as far as the ingredients are involved, but it doesn't have any of the bad SLS and um, so I think it gets the job done as far as conditioning my hair, but I will be upgrading my conditioner and shampoo once it's all gone. And I have the shampoo. It's the same brand, um, Moisture Renewal Shampoo um, by Pantene Pro -V. The same applies for the conditioner. I will be upgrading it as soon as I use it all. And last but not least, or last and probably least, um, lotion, hair lotion. This is something that I've been using since I was young. Um, I just, like just before I decided to go natural, I went and I bought this big 33 full and ounce bottle for $8.99. Um, I had already started using it. I can't return it. And it has mineral oil as the first, well, the second ingredient water is the first ingredient. I'm so upset that it does because that means it's not good for your hair or it means that it prevents moisture from going into your hair. So um, this is one of the products that I will not be buying again unfortunately um, but when I do use it it's before I wash my hair. It's right after I take my braids out because it does help to detangle my hair. It does help to break down all the buildup that I get you know where the braids start or where my hair starts and the braid ends or whatever so in that respect I really do like it I'm gonna have to find a better alternative um, next time around but for now I'm still gonna keep using it so yeah and I will be coming back to you guys to make a video um, when I make my flat seat gel when I try Kimmy Tooth leave-in conditioner and um, for a lens check that is coming up in October when I take these braids out of my head, I'm like so eager to take them out right now because I really want to try the um, the mini braids, which I'll also be doing a video on. But I'm going to hold in my eagerness to take these braids out and just let them stay in because I have too much work coming to school. So yeah. But anyways, bye YouTube. Thank you for watching and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.